What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 bringing you another quick vlog. I know people, well literally not people, one dude was like, what's with all the fucking vlogs? I usually don't do this many. Literally before the last week where like obviously Eagles news has been going fucking crazy every night. I did like a vlog once every two weeks and that's about the rate I want to do it. I don't need you guys seeing my face here every single fucking day. Uh, but Eagles keep making the news and I don't have the gameplays yet. I, like literally I was recording uh, Eagles vs. Cleveland Browns things to watch. That's what I was recording. And then the trade came through for Eric Rowe is now a member of the New England Patriots. Uh, we traded him for Josh Klein who's a starter at uh, guard. Uh, which means, you know, maybe that's cover. That, that's another thing I don't really understand. Guard, I think we're we're all right at guard. I mean, unless Alan Barbary is not the guy, Klein's going to start. But, I mean, Wisniewski looked all right. You got uh, Siumal, who's the future. So we got a guard, let's be honest. Uh, he can play a little bit of center, but Jason Kelsey, we're all hoping he can bounce back. So, I mean, that's, that means at the future, you got Siumalu, who was our third-round pick, our second-highest pick this year, who's going to play Garrett. And then you spent big money on Brandon Brooks. So, where does Klein really fit into all that? I mean, you can never have too many offensive linemen, especially ones that can contribute, because offensive linemen, especially on the Eagles, seem to go down. We usually probably use two or three a year. Um, but we traded Eric Rowe, which sucks. I wouldn't have given up on Eric Rowe. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan that he could turn it around. As it stands right now, I could certainly see if he wasn't a second-year player. If Eric Rowe was still where he was at, and this was year four or something like that, or you know maybe a year away or two, uh, maybe a year away, sorry, from maybe him hitting free agency, I could see us moving him. But Josh Klein, I think we come on. I think the the value that we got a fourth round pick as well in 2018 that can turn into a third round. I don't know what the terms of that is. It's a conditional pick. Um, that's all right. I mean, we took a second round pick on row, potentially could get a third, a fourth round pick in return is not that bad. I'm just more so looking at Josh Klein as, is is he going to be more of an impact on this team than Eric Rowe would have been? Eric Rowe was a potential, debatably, our third corner on paper. Josh Klein is going to get, what, lost in the mix at the guard spot between Wisniewski, Sumal, Alan Barbary, and now himself. I think you, man, like when we need a tackle, we could have used, um, you know, actually I want to do here right now before I fucking pop onto this live. I'm going to go to Patriots depth chart. Let's see if we're, because if Patriots were on the board, let's see who I would have rather taken as opposed to Josh Klein. Okay. We got uh, offensive line. Klein was their backup center listed here. Which kind of sucks. Backup center behind uh, David Andrews. So, I mean, the... okay. Um, then we're going to give up a starter. Shaq Mason at guard. He's all right. Uh, then now they got Joe Thune. He could potentially be uh, a guy. Even like a Danny Amendola. Chris Hogan's probably going to be the wide receiver too next to Julian Edelman. Amendola, that makes a little bit of sense. Look at the defensive side of things. What do we got here? Hmm. Mm, no one, not really anyone there on the Patriots roster that I would take. So we got Josh Klein. It is what it is. Eric Rose no longer on the roster. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be too super pumped to hear that. Let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Hopefully this is the last trade. I mean, not many teams uh, trade this close to the fucking deadline. Obviously, reasons. You don't want chemistry to get fucked up. You don't want, uh, you know, you need to, you want to know your starters going in. But we got an offensive lineman. It is what it is. Fourth round pick. Hopefully it turns into a third. I don't know what the terms are yet. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this shit. Until next time, it's your boy C4 saying hopefully this is the last vlog for a little bit. And uh, peace out. Did that fucking stop? <laughs>